it makes a track and yeah how to release the music and i think that's really really cool and going back to that because you mentioned the album again i know that for you it was a two-step process you were starting an album one way and then covid hit and it took it a completely other way and i read most of that in your paper because your 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 final paper was also on the album like you went beyond and above so what was that like how did you have to adapt to whatever was happening in the world yeah so uh just to recap there my album actually started as my senior thesis project and uh i at the at the time when i conceptualized the album and i was writing a lot of the songs i you know had crazy ideas for what i was going to do in the studio and what equipment i was going to use and what friends i was going to have you know come and sing or play or you know do whatever on the album like lots of collaborators uh, lots of really cool, you know, recording practices and all that stuff. And when I was forced to move home at that point in time, I hadn't, because I had access to my school studio, I hadn't really built up my arsenal of gear. At that point in time, I had a laptop. I had a pair of headphones. I had an awful microphone that I had <laughs> <laughs> had since I was like a sophomore in high school. Like I didn't have a lot of resources. And I mean, I'm fortunate enough that, you know, my parents helped me out. <laughs> right. I, I was able to get some stuff to, to get it finished. But um, it was a lot of just going back to the drawing board and kind of resetting and honestly, just looking at it from a new perspective. And I think it all ended up actually working out perfectly for, you know, the themes on the album. It's just, you just have to take what you're given and, and look at it in in a way that's going to be productive. Like if I could have sat around and, and moped and done nothing about it and just said, well, I can't make an album now. Right. You know, but it's, it's all about, you know, changing how you're looking at things and how you problem solve and, uh, you know, making the best out of it. And you put yourself out there because you reached out to our own team, Museamp, which by the way, I, like we said, you're part of the Museamp team. So you help mm -hmm. other people with this kind of stuff. And you're like, Hey, what if we were to help you out with the album promotion and everything on the market side and on the release? And it was a good chance for us to also like, you know, practice our services, show that we can do better. And I think it takes a lot to hand your baby over to a team of people who, yes, we know more about music than I, I know more about music now than I did six, seven months ago, but I'm mm -hmm. still relatively new. And so just giving away your work to some, marketing department well marketing team that you know um what was that experience like just like here take my project and come up with a way to release it yeah um definitely new for me like I said before I've always kind of been the person that likes to get my hands on as many projects and things and skills as possible and I've because of that I've always just been responsible and in charge of everything that I do you know and It, you get to a certain point where that's not sustainable anymore. And for me, I think I gained a new perspective in terms of right. like how I can operate. And it was actually amazing to, to have a team come on. It was definitely hard for me to, to relinquish some sort of, you know, creative control, but of course you and Marg are incredible and, you know, amazing to work with and so, so flexible with ideas and you could bounce things back and forth with me. Um, but I think overall, I just learned that, you know, I don't have to, I don't have to do every single detail myself I can still have control of, over my my work and my art and what I'm you know how I'm branding myself and what I'm putting out with the help of other people um, and I was actually going to ask you this do you think that what we like the way we helped you in the whole release at the end of the day do you think like it played a, a pretty big role because we were looking at it, it was like I think it I think we like I, a lot of it is your talent and then for us it was just our job was to get it in front of people's eyes that's all you know So we were like, wow, like I, we, I, we were wondering how many views you would have, how many listens you would have gotten without the project. Like we always wish there would be a way to, to test it, but we were like, we were, we couldn't believe it. How many thousands, I didn't know how many thousands of views of listens people usually tend to get on Spotify, you know? So when you were telling us you're almost getting 10,000, I was like, that sounds pretty good. Like it was a successful campaign in our opinion, you know, but I have nothing to base it on. So what do you think? Yeah, I mean, also, you know, this was my first major release too. I, I so I don't have, you know, great, a great. It's pretty point. big for your first release to have that <laughs> yeah, much. Yeah, I really right? just went all in. I just said it's all or nothing. I gotta, I gotta put it out there. Uh, no, but I mean, for sure, I think a lot of that had to do with, you know, the way it was marketed and like the genius plans that you guys came up with. Um, I had a lot of people reach out to me and just say like, 
the way the album was marketed was was genius and was really cool. Um, so like major props to you for <laughs> well, major <laughs> props to you for knowing whole, what like... you wanted because you knew exactly. You're like, I knew want this, but you guys, you know, play with it, and we gave something back, and you're like, what if we did this too? And and you took it to another level. And I want to segue into that, which is the creative process for a musician seems to be very very similar to the creative process of a of somebody who just creates content so, somebody who creates mm -hmm. the creative process it's kind of the same but how would you describe your creative process and collaborating with the team you know we kind of talked about it but how would you describe the creative process because you got to work with so many people as a musician you got to yeah. usually you got somebody who writes one thing the other one masters it because you cannot be yourself right that's what i learned mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah i mean I think it it's it's gonna be different depending on who you work with, and that's something I've definitely I've definitely found. I think I was really fortunate in you know meeting you and Margaret through Mark and through Muse 